this is a great test now of just throttle steering control so that's why we're gonna do this now you know where's the big donut you know where's the middle of the the big you know donut like this whole place here is the donut where you at so the tighter donut is obviously the small circle in the middle so when i tell you <clears throat> go in uh, go wide you go on the biggest donut when i tell you go in the middle you go in the middle of the, the whole big place that is a donut and then the tight one is you go on the smallest circle and uh, obviously through the whole time you just want to be smooth as possible control no talking just focus on your driving and that's all so when you're ready you start okay. and until i tell you where to go you just keep going into where you at if you're in the middle you keep doing the middle donut if you're in the big one you keep doing the big one so you start on the wide one when you're ready do you feel ready yeah okay middle tight big one middle wide now we merge into tight big middle tight middle wide that's good you could you can stop so that's perfect so if i look clearly if we look clearly apart from like the early practice that you did i could see uh if you use the s7 camera you could clearly see like the middle circle i could see the middle circle that you did if you look from uh, the top you position your camera i could see like the, the middle circle where the tire marks are i could see like the tight donut that you did with the rear tire marks and i could see the big donut that you did so it's like yep big middle and tight and these are the tire marks from your rear tires so yeah. this is perfect considering the fact that your uh adapter broke and now you're using the original wheel which is smaller that completely changed the feeling you have to adapt very quickly to a different wheel different radius this is mm -hmm. perfect so you see how this exercises and stuff that we did uh basically gave you all this control all these uh tips and all these things that we did about uh like total steering is a combination of total control wheel control basically how to steer yourself and like basically the sync uh, synergy between them how you synchronize all the movements like the application of the total to apply rotation as well and uh, also combining it with adding steering angle and um, uh, also total pulsing and power away so all these four things they're your total steering it's just like the total on the wheel being able to put the car exactly where you want it on the road and be able to dictate what happens every single moment 
and not let the car control what happens in the moment. Because most people, they go in a corner, they just toss the car and they hope the car stays somewhere in the, you know, on the road. Somewhere in the corner, somewhere on the road. They cannot dictate and they don't have the control to put the car, okay, I want the car to go as close as possible to the edge of the corner, to the rail, or as, cl as tight as possible to the apex, or I want the car to be in the middle. They just toss it there, and that's why you see Donut is king. Now you understand? Because you yeah. could, like, could you do this earlier when we started? No, no. no. So, do you feel more confident now since you can do this when you yeah. go on the tracks? So, yeah. when you're driving any other car pack, uh, did this translate to them? Like, uh, did I lie about this? When you drive WDTS, no, no, no. Did, did this immediately translate? Even so, you drive, you change from E30 to WDTS. Did this uh, things that we did translate there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what exactly did translate? What what difference do you feel? I feel like the WDTS are most more slightly, but I like all the throttle and those things that I practice in the donuts are the same. Yeah, so you see, the, the total application and the wheel, everything that you apply, yes, it's going to be in a different amount, so you might have to steer a bit less or a bit more, or you might need less throttle or more throttle, depending on the horsepower of the car and, like, the grip of the car. But in general, you learn that all these things, they just transition to any car, anything. Like, they apply, it's the same rules, same things that you have to do. So the technique is always the same, it's just the car is different, the grip is different. And like how much you apply, the application is a bit like uh, how much it will take you to apply a bit more throttle or a bit more steering, but it's pretty much the same, right? Mm. So when we drive on the tandem meets, you're doing better and better and better with the WDTS slowly but surely. And uh, I could uh, finally, yesterday, could finally uh, chase you without any problems that we did on the Mayhem, uh, where yeah. we did some practice. So, in general, uh, I'm not sure if you tried any other cars, but how I do you... I tried a little bit of BDC and I was very bad, but I felt a lot a lot better. Than it's like you used... Did you manage, even though you can drive the BDC now, did you manage to like at least click what the car is trying to do? Since yeah. you have a bit more steering control now with like total steering, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, hey. that's all about it. Like, it's not going to... Uh, you see, everybody tries to get it immediately. Like, oh, I'm gonna learn in a month and stuff. Like, bro, you need a minimum of one year. Okay, maybe six months of like intense coaching and I can get you to a very, very good spot. But you see how everything just transition. It's about building competence. So you build experience. The experience gives you more competence. The more competence give you more commitment so you're willing to try more stuff like tossing the car reverse toss the, maybe doing 360s like learning other tricks you'll be way more a lot of people don't want to risk oh i don't want to go wide they're scared to go on the edge of the road because they they have these bad experiences when they spin out and they don't have the willingness or confidence to like commit and try getting into the edge uh, you know what I mean? Because wh when first yeah. we started, you didn't want to go close to the edge, whereas the white and red stripes. Why? Because all the time when you step on the stripe, the car was, you know, it's a bit more slippery or you might step on the grass and spin out. So you don't want to have this bad experience replicate again or happen again. Um, people are very scared. It's a subconscious thing. It's more about psychology, like your mindset, your brain, how it works. And in general, it's like our brain works to protect us from bad experiences, right? Because when you spin out, it gives you bad emotion. Oh, I spin out. Like It's not making you fulfilled and happy because you did it, but you failed. So as long as you overcome this failure and understand that you need to fail to learn and you get more experience and you start to be a bit more in control, gives you a bit more confidence, you're more willing to commit. So you see how all this starts to translate now yeah. into the cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, anything else that you want to say about the donuts? No, it, it's a great practice and it has help, helped me a lot. It's so, you see, you see why yeah. donut is king? Because, like, yeah. uh, most people, they turn the wheel, yank it or jerk it left and right. The car is upset. You could clearly see the car is upset. It's The car is literally shaking a bit from all the wrong steering applications. Or they slam in the totals and stuff like that. There's people with 
driving for years with thousands of hours and they still don't have this nailed what you did right now there are people with thousands of hours that cannot replicate this why because remember what they told you when you're self-learning you don't have the right path there's nobody to tell you about the foundation remember what we spoke and i give us an example to all the the new guys every time imagine you have an owner that wants to build one more floor on top of his house he calls the construction company engineer comes in he tells him like if we build one more floor this extra weight is gonna cause the basically the house to collapse so if you have a garbage foundation even in driving or anywhere you have bad, bad foundation you don't want to build on top of this foundation so what happened is when you're self-learning almost all the time unless it, you know, after a year or something, something clicks in you, like it clicked on me, to start trying to analyze and self-reflect on yourself. And even then, you can't see a lot of stuff. It's way better when somebody else from the side can look into the things and see for you. Like, you see, like, oh, I see you have this problem stuff, because you can't see everything, like, exactly. So, that's what I'm saying. They're building, the guys that are self-learning most of the time, they build on top of a bad foundation because they don't know where to go they're clueless that's why it's very bad that's why i'm sitting in drift talk and trying to help everybody and uh mm -hmm. that's really what uh pisses me off the guys they just are clueless like i was in the beginning you don't see you don't know the right path you don't know what to do you swap between tons of cars you swap random tracks random cars instead of staying with one car and most of the times that's why i told you don't learn on wdts the angle kid is gonna save you the car you see is way slider, way smoother in general, and the car makes you look smoother, but you're not actually. And that's why we, when we went on the E30 drift, every movement that's wrong, I could see the car is just giving it up for you. So I could see clearly and know exactly what the problem is. So that's why we did all this. So it's good. You passed the, the exam here, and now we can move on to the, the other stuff. And uh, I believe this exam is just a great showcase when you're ready to progress from the donut or not and uh, i'll be applying it to other people so because if i don't see the total steering mastered in i can't put you on the track i cannot put you on layouts and stuff like that to learn chaining tracks this that i need to know that i can now integrate the other pedals into you know the work or like Testing on the layout, how you do the spacing with the throttle and stuff like that. But you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. basically, that's about the, the throttle steering itself.